Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Renault Zoe for sale, obviously. Uh, this is quite an exceptional condition one. It's a 2014 Zoe. It's only had one owner, but it's only done 11,000 miles. So this has got the 22 kilowatt hour battery pack, and this one is the rapid charge model. So it's got the Continental motor that has 43 kilowatt AC charging. So what that means is if you go into typically a motorway services, and you've got an AC rapid charger there, this will charge in 30 minutes. And while we're talking about charging, I'll just show you the charge port. We open it with the button there on the key fob or button on the dash. And this is your charge port here. It's a type two AC charging only, but as I said, these have AC rapid charging. And then in the boot here, we have got some charge cables so in this bag we have got a portable charger often called a granny cable and that allows you to charge the vehicle on a normal main socket so that does take longer because these can only draw uh, 2.3 kilowatt uh, but ultimately if you get an electric vehicle you would have a home wall charger installed a 7 kilowatt charger and then you would use this cable if it wasn't a tethered uh, charger and this is your type 2 to type 2 AC charging cable that you would use on that home wall charger or any public charging posts. So let's talk about battery packs because that battery pack which sits down there under the floor is a 22 kilowatt hour pack and they were always leased on these models at this year and that is because um, there was a lot of worries about battery life so Renault took the battery out of the equation so you bought the car but then rented that battery pack and that costs £49 a month and for that, that battery is guaranteed to 75% of its original state of health and you also get breakdown cover included. However, you now have the option to buy out of the battery lease. So that battery lease is done with um, RCI Bank, which is Renault Finance. So at the time of recording this, this one is currently still on battery lease. I'm in the process of taking over the lease because as the dealer, you still have to take on that battery rental when the vehicle's in stock. Um, but I may well buy the battery on this because I have tested the pack and the battery state of health is currently 98%. So it's only lost 2% in six years. The reality is the Renault battery packs are particularly good. They've got thermal management and they will more than last the life of the vehicle. So the battery rental is proving a bit pointless because any user, any owner is, is uh, unlikely to ever be claiming under the uh, battery lease guarantee anyway. So you might as well own the pack. And it puts a significant value on top of the uh, vehicle because generally people uh, have got the message now that batteries aren't the worry that they once thought they were and they're going to last a very long time. So majority of people prefer to own the battery pack and not have that monthly rental going out. So uh, the full details will be on the website um, as to whether this continues to be a battery lease because I'm in the middle of taking over that uh, battery lease now but because of uh, Covid and RCI bank staff are working from home everything's taking a long time. So the full details of whether that battery is still a rental battery or whether it is an owned battery all of that will be on the website. So let's just have a quick look inside. I will just start it up as well. So let's next talk about range. So this is showing 122 miles. That's because I've reset the driving history. So that isn't um, realistic. But what's that, what that has shown me is it has had a BMS update recently. Um, so the range of these, uh, it's 22 kilowatt hour pack, obviously. Uh, if you drive them efficiently, you're going to get somewhere between um, 90 to 100 miles. Uh, I used to own one of these and I got 103 miles out of it once driving very gently in the summer. So you're going to get around the 90 to 100 mile mark in the summer and around the 70 to 80 mile mark in the winter. It very much does depend on driving style and driving economy, of course. Um, and as I've said, the battery pack at the, on this one is at 98% state of health, so no battery degradation at all, really. Uh, these also have a heat pump heating system, so the heater is pretty efficient. So you don't get that huge loss in the winter that you do with some other older electric cars. These also have preconditioning as well. Uh, so you can set a timer 
uh, or you can use an app or you can use a button on the key fob and you the vehicle will come on in the morning and uh, peak condition the cabin melt the ice off the windows get the cabin warm while it's still connected to the charger so when you disconnect you your car's nice and warm or cold in the uh, summer because it will use the air conditioning and then you've still got 100% battery and 100% range so you maximize your range in the winter uh, we've got sat nav Bluetooth, telephone, um, you know, all the stuff that Zoe's have normally got. Uh, being a, an Intens model, if I put it into reverse, we've got parking sensors on the back and we've also got a camera, which is something they uh, made optional with the newer ones. But uh, the other thing, um, this doesn't have DAB radio because that came in, I think in 2000, and yeah, 2016 that came in. So if we look at the radio here, it is just um, FM. I think it's AM as well. I think you have to enable that in settings, but anyway, no DAB. Uh, but we've got Bluetooth streaming from your phone as well. There's no CDs in these. That's uh, too old hat now, so it's all MP3. And then down here, we've got a speed limiter and um, cruise control. And then you use the buttons on the steering wheel and we've got our eco button there and the eco button changes the background display on the dash um, if i take it out of eco uh, it goes to blue and uh, what eco does is it minimizes the uh, reduces the power to the motor so you don't accelerate quite so far so you drive more economically and it also dulls the power to the um, heating system as well to uh, preserve range a little bit and of course these are a five door hatchback i have seen reviews of these saying that they're only a three door because the uh, handles are disguised but of course they're a five door three seat belts in the back and um, they're quite spacious cars actually my seat is quite a long way back there but uh, they've got an awful lot of headroom they really do hide the proportions well you sit quite high and they are a lot more spacious than you would think if you haven't seen one before. So the primary reason for this video is to show you the condition. And uh, if you see my videos before, you know I point out every little minor stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're buying. And then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming here to view it first. And I would say probably 14 out of 15 vehicles go without a physical viewing first because of the details in these videos. So let's have a walk around this car. Um, this car has only done 11,000 miles. It's uh, only had one owner from new. The owner was actually Michelin uh, tires. Um, and it is in really amazing condition for a vehicle of this age. Uh, to be honest, you're not going to find a 2014 in as good condition as this one. There's just a couple of very minor little uh, stone chips I've got to show you and a tiny little bit of scuffing on that wheel. And, but the rest of it is absolutely pristine. So let's start off at this wheel. Um, this is the uh, near side wheel that gets hit with curbs typically and this one has done so there's a little bit of curbing on this wheel but incredibly minor and I have dabbed a little bit of um, silver paint into it so it really doesn't show but we've got a little bit of curbing there a, a one inch on that spoke and a little bit there where it is a little bit more chewed up but it's only two finger thicknesses um, and that's it they are so much better than you would normally see on a car of this age and the other alloys are all absolutely immaculate and mark free it does also have new tyres all round uh, the original tyres weren't worn because it's only done 11,000 miles, but the sidewalls had cracked, they'd all perished. Uh, bizarrely, this had come from Michelin tyres and they were running around on pretty dangerous wheels. But anyway, clearly they weren't using this car. So it's got all new tyres. Uh, it's also just had a new surface as well. So let's walk around. There's absolutely nothing to point out at all on the bodywork. Um, it really is in good condition. It had previously been sign written when it was with Michelin. Um, so that had protected a lot of the paintwork, you know, it had a vinyl, vinyl sign writing and a wrap, partial wrap on it. Um, so it has also been polished and waxed as well to get some of that glue off. Um, but yeah, the bodywork's absolutely exceptional. There's no scratching down here on the um, bumper where stuff gets loaded in. The only thing I would say is the badging is peeling, the front and rear badges. That's common on the Zoe's. Um, the badges were blue. 
and uh, blue badging meant it was an electric car but the blue peels off and uh, they return to chrome um, Renault were changing them under warranty because they did start to look very tatty and they just couldn't make the blue stick so they gave up with the idea and they were just fitting chrome badges but if you leave the originals long enough the blue flakes off and it returns to a chrome badge anyway so it's pretty much all gone off that one there's a couple of bits to um, come off but of course you could sit there and pick them off the badging is still blue but it's just starting to uh, peel but as I said all Zoe's do that um, no dents or scratching at all around there as I said all the other alloy wheels are absolutely immaculate they really are quite exceptional no dents or scratches down the car which is unusual normally you would get dents on this protruding ridge from other car doors but not so in this case because it just hasn't really been used um, that wheel there is all good so the only stone chips I need to show you is here on the bonnet there were um, two stone chips very close together there which I can see I've dabbed a bit of white paint and lacquer in there um, but they were uh, they're still visible obviously because of they were quite deep um, so tiny little stone chip there and there's a couple round here there's one up here somewhere which was really small like only one millimeter there it's up there and there was one down here I had to do and I can't see it now but that's it they're all very very small and I would just say everything I've pointed out I've taken pictures of of the of them in the photo gallery on the website so you can go to that photo gallery look at the pictures and you can zoom in full screen and have a good look in detail and just like the back the front badge is peeling um, as I said they all do that and if you leave it long enough the blue will just peel off and that will be a nice shiny chrome badge we've also got the green flash number plates and the green number plates means that it is a zero emission vehicle so I'm being ultra picky there is a very minor indentation here on the uh, door panel and then on the inside there's nothing really to show you it's only done 11,000 miles so it's all still looking like new there's no stains on the seats um, it's all just immaculate really if I'm going to be super picky the only thing to point out there is a little bit of uh, dirt there in that bit of door but this is where your feet this is hard plastic and your feet always hit these door pockets when you're getting in and out and they do tend to uh, get scratched but all very good in this case because it is a uh, obviously a low mileage vehicle and then we can see the mileage there 11,281 miles and uh, obviously everything works without any fault or error uh, it's also just had a service so if you scroll around here to the service screen there it is it's not due for another 12 months or 18,000 miles so let's just show you the paperwork uh, we do obviously have here two keys and we've got the wallet here um, in here we've got the R-Link quick start guide the R-Link is the multimedia system however I am missing the user manual so sometimes uh, they get forwarded on later on from the previous keeper um, so that might happen but I think for now we can only assume it is not and on the Renault Zoe's the service sheets are in the back of the, that main manual so we're missing that um, however you know this is only done 11,000 miles I can tell this has been serviced as well because it's had software updates um, uh, but as far as the user manual goes um, I've got a PDF version which uh, you can have um, but so yeah we're missing that uh, user manual uh, it's also due an MOT the MOT has expired um, so it will have a new MOT before it gets delivered and here's the logbook as we can see no previous keepers registered to Michelin tires PLC and the registration date is the 31st of the 3rd 2014 so as I said this car's just had a service thoroughly inspected it all and checked it all out uh, also regassed the air conditioning as well um, because that's a common problem on these is the uh, if the heater isn't working very well uh, it's often due to not having enough gas in the air conditioning and uh, that actually was the case with this car so it's had a um, air conditioning regas um, and these use very expensive gas uh, so that's all good for many years to come that's probably the first time it's been done uh, in its six years of uh, life 
Um, the 12 volt battery is good as well. That's recently had a new 12 volt battery and of course fitted new tires all round as well. So to recap, this is a 22 kilowatt hour Zoe with the rapid charge motor. So it's got the 43 kilowatt AC charging and it's just in exceptional condition. You're not going to find a Zoe as good as this. And it's obviously only had one owner and 11,000 miles. So this is ready to go. So if you're interested, give me a call or email and I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use.